Hey guys, um, so we drain the tank a lot. <clears throat> so this is our 37 gallon fish tank. Um, and we got the dead fish right here. He's right there. Um, he's, a, he's like all cut up for some reason. We just took the heater out. The temperature was, was like where it should be and all that. And for some reason, he's all cut up. So, but um, so this is a 37 gallon that I have, and um, he got the stand. So, um, now what happened here was that we didn't. Uh, like I said, the tank got ick, and then a lot of the fish were hanging up at the surface. We think that that's because they didn't have a lot of oxygen. So, the next trip to the pet store, I went and I bought an air pump. And um, it just so happens that when we bought this tank from Craigslist, um, it came with these bubble machines. I forget what it's called. But um, we got, if you can see it, it's a clear tube. And um, we got the tube from there. And we got the end of um, a piece, uh, for your, a piece to this um, that comes with the air pump, and um, we took that at the end of that, and uh, I just unplugged it. But put it come back on. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, I was, sorry about that. I plugged in the wrong one. Um. The other thing is the filter's off because if I'm not sure if you heard that sound, but one night we just had it on. See there are the bubbles. And um it just started making that weird noise. So we just, you know, turned it off and um and he was doing he was still alive because we had this bubble machine. So we and so there's still oxygen in his tank. Um so, this tank was very, um, there's a lot of algae in it. Um, that's because there's a lot of sunlight hitting from it, as you can see in the glare. So, there's a window right there, and there's also a window on the other side right there. Um, but we got one of those, we got the mackle float that we had upstairs, we put it right here. And we scrubbed all the algae, and it was gone like that. And, um, so, got this tank looking like... How, how we got it, and um, it all it came with that stuff in the back, which I like to get off, and um, and like this stuff right here, it's just a lot of, I'm not sure what all this stuff is, I really like to get that, I mean, this tank wasn't in the best condition, I mean, it's still, it's a nice tank, but as you can see, the acrylic right here is chipped, um, all this stuff, um, so, I mean, it wasn't the best condition, but it still holds water and all that stuff, so. It was 175 bucks for, you know, four fish, the stand, and the tank, and the rocks, um, and the filter, too. And it came with a bubble machine and all that, and a heater, so. All that for 175 bucks, and all I had to do, really, was just go buy, a um, that night we went to go buy a thermometer and some decor, and, uh, and we had it, so oh, it, I really liked it. Um, but then, like I said, we got ick, and it just decimated my tank. Um, okay, so just to show you, like, what all this algae, like, what the sunlight is doing, all right here on these, like, front rocks, especially that one right there, it's all algae, which does make the tank look real good. So, that's, a, that's another reason why I'm going to get rid of these shops, is just the algae on most of them. Like, even back there, you, can, you can't see it, but right there, oh, there's some algae back there, too. And, um, and I'm, I just like know I'm feeding these guys also flakes, so yeah, same flakes that I got with that kit. And I also got these, um, two big bottles of top water conditioner and... Or something else I forget, but um, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna have to probably do because we're going to the pets. We're going to Yale Pets Club later today, and we're gonna start buying 
supplies for this tank. And what we're gonna probably just do is um like I said in my last video, just tell some products and what we're gonna do is ask the guy there like what we're gonna need because we'll probably we're probably gonna have to spend some money there. Um which which I'm okay with doing because I have the money. And um it, just, just letting you know, this is the strip temperature reader that came with the um uh the, the kit and I don't really like it and uh, right now it says 70 degrees but uh this is really we just took out the heater like I had the heater but um this tank is freezing right now like we just literally took it out about two hours ago and it's already like really cold so um so yeah that's basically it I will post if you if you guys really want me to, I'll just post a video because I I I was I was making videos of this tank at its like highest, um, but I never posted them because I don't know, I just never got to it, and um, so I'll just post that if you want. If you guys really would like me to, um. And tonight, I'll just show you what you got at the pet store today. And, um, I just to let you know. Just, I'm going to try to cover that dead fish right there. All that, um, algae right there on that sign, as you can see. That's a lot of algae all, even on the side of the sign. Um, so that, that's another way. So, basically, we're just going to put all this decor in a bag to let it dry out and put it in the basement somewhere. And, um... So yeah, I'm oh, probably gonna get rid of this filter because that's, I think it's just junk now. I'm not sure for how long the guy had it, but it's all dirty as you can see. Um, it still runs, or it doesn't really run that good anymore. Since that night, it's been like making that weird sound. So, but it's like, if you, if you see your fish hanging out near the top, like, and it doesn't look like they're getting that much action, I definitely suggest getting one of these air pumps. They're quiet, which is a good thing. Um, so what they have is these rubber pads on the bottom of their legs. And that like sort of um, absorbs some of the vibration. And uh, I forget, but I'm not sure if this tube comes with it. But I mean, I've got all this stuff. This is probably around $12. And this is probably around like three. So it really only took me about around 20 bucks to get it all set up. And the fish just looks so much better after I put it in there for a couple of days. Um, what will happen is this, the end of this that puts all the air out will float to the top. So you have to make sure that like, you put it somewhere. I tried burying it. I buried it under the rocks for a couple of days and then I moved it to here. So it would stay in one place. So that's what I suggest doing with some decor. I just like have it so it just stays under there and so it doesn't have to float to the top so and to show you guys all this green stuff that are in the lights which looks totally disgusting so then that's um this is the tank guys 37 gallon and i will post a video um i will post a video of uh the 37 gallon that's highest we had about ball we had ball shark we had two ball sharks, four angelfish, that was the biggest one. Um we had a lot we had a couple sunnies that we caught. Um, they're babies. Uh what else do we have? Let me think. At one time we had a, two perch in here. Um let's see. I can't we had two plecos. Um so what we had was two plecos and they both died. The albino one did first, and he was a bristle nose, and then a pleco mustis or whatever. Then he died. Um, so, and then we got a Chinese algae eater, and he just died recently. Right, actually, he died right before we were going to put him into the 10 gallon. So, and then we got this, um, I think it was a Colombian catfish, and he died. So, but we had more fish, I think. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. This is a longer video, but, um, subscribe, comment, like, 
all that good stuff. And um, hopefully over time I'll get more subscribers. I really, really would like more subscribers. But um, again, this is like only it's only been like three days since I posted my first video, so you know, gotta be patient. But um, and share these videos, share these with your people you know who are interested in this type of stuff. And I'm so sorry about like not getting to Manny, but um, he's sick, so um, I'll be doing that. And I'm trying to get that sparrow video. I took one, but it was really. Um, it wasn't that great, so I'm going to retake one. So, when you get, when you start putting hunting videos up, start getting videos of Manny up, and at his, his, and at his house, his fish tank, see, is a 40 gallon, 10 gallon, just to let you know. And, um, so thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, comment, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks, guys.